All right, so another day, another new thing added to the test realm. Fellas, how's it going? Welcome back to Bee Swarm. We're back in the test room again, and that is because uh, a new thing was added, something actually kind of important. An entirely new bee. Thought I should maybe cover that for a little bit. Last episode, I was talking about how the digital bee was going to be added to the test room soon, and immediately when I finished that video, on it slapped him in the test room. Like, what the hell, man? Now I look like an idiot for not covering it in that video, but it's like, guys, it's not my fault. On it, on it is on to me, alright? He's monitoring my every action. This goddamn chicanery. You think a man just happens to update his game like that? No, he orchestrated it. But I digress, alright? Welcome back to Bee Swarm. We're covering the, the goddamn digital bee today, alright? Boom, look at that. Hey, sup guys, it's me. And this is the part of the video where I ask you to smash like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It doesn't take long at all, and it really helps them out a lot. You gotta be part of the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed. Fellas, even though recently we hit 23k, we are actually kind of getting there to 24k pretty damn quickly. So thank you. But yeah, I think you already know the drill. Since we're doing Bee Swarm, I gotta chill out a little bit more. If you want to go check out my other content. Recently, I uploaded a Rayman Legends video. That game kind of goes hard. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. With that all being said, enjoy the video. It may have been already added to the, the log, so we could check it out maybe. Yeah, there it is. Yo. Overall, pretty garbanzo stats. The speed is probably close to the goddamn tadpole bee. But I think the reason for that is because it gets upgraded. Gifted high bonus 1% ability duplication chance. That is a, that is a new thing that I've not seen before, alright. Let's see, uh, glitch, um, that, that is a lot, mind hack, that is, yep, map corruption, yep, and drive expansion, wow, that is a whole lot of text that I'm just not gonna read at all, man. I'll do a brief skim, alright? 20 minutes later. Alright, from what it looks like to me, this is kind of like a combination of, like, Windy Bee and Fuzzy Bee, I think, where, like, it has a random chance to, like, corrupt a certain field. Kind of like how Windy just slaps down their clouds on random fields. And it just, like, boosts stuff. I think, like, duplicates tokens, maybe? Kind of like how the Fuzzy Bee does, like, a pollen haze over certain fields. I think one ability is for yourself, and another ability is for the entire server. And when you use a drive during the Robo Bear challenge, when you have the Bee with you, I think that's when it corrupts the field, and that's also when you upgrade the Bee, I think. Yeah, right over here. Red upgrades attack, blue does convert amount, white does gather amount, and glitch drive is ability rate, which is pretty damn good over there. Every 10 glitch drives gives you a high bonus of 0.02% ability duplication chance. So it also just upgrades the uh, the gifted ability overall. That Okay, I like that. And it can be juiced up up to 500 times of each single drive. God damn. And when you max it out the wazoo, it gets 10 move speed. Hot dog. Pretty much making the speed actually good now. Okay, so it's a combination of Fuzzy, Windy, and Tabby Bee just crammed into a, like a really cracked bee. God damn, okay. Alrighty then. Let's just slap this baby down right over here. Boom, see you later, Vector Bee. Here we go, alright, Digital Bee, placeholder. Cool, man. And we're not just gonna stop there, right? We're gonna make a gifted. The normal one is like uh, a green screen, you know, like an old like uh, computer. Yeah, look at that. Aw, oh, sick, dude. I really like the face of the bee. It's, like, so different compared to, like, every other bee in the game. It's just, like, so unique. But here we go. Bonk! Nice, dude. Nice. Turns into a blue screen. I, I like that. Also, the colors are really close to the ones in the actual, like, digital bee area, I think. Which, by the way, in case you weren't aware, this guy was actually added to the game, like, two years ago. When the uh, Ready Player 2 event was happening, you could like unlock this area, and inside was the guy. It was never obtainable until now, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, in this area, I think the colors like inside of here are the same ones like on the gifted digital bee. Like the black, pink, and white. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if we can test it out. What's up, Robo Bear? Looks like you got a nice coat of paint on your cog over here. Like to see it, pal. Currently, I'm on round like, uh... Never mind, it got reset. All right, cool, man. <laughs> nope. N n okay, never mind. All righty then. I guess that's fine. I'll just collect pollen. I'll get you, and uh, you, and uh, you, 
All right, and I'll grab that and not that. Okay, let's go. So yeah, this new guy is definitely going to help out a ton when doing the Rebel Bear Challenge. I kind of guess that's what had to happen because like, how are you supposed to get like a super good score without the Digital Bee? Which actually some people did, but like, how in the hell do you get that far? I don't even know, man. Makes no sense to me, man. Makes absolutely no sense. I'm just trying to get a better score right now. So far, I got to round 15, and then I died a terrible death. So I didn't quite get the golden amulet yet, but I want to try to get that today. Can also test out like upgrading it once we get the actual bee like with us. Oh yeah, I thought I should probably mention this before I forget. Digital Bee also had another ability that I didn't mention, but on it didn't actually add it to the game yet, I don't think. But the ability is called Mind Hack, and apparently it just like I don't know, Phoenix with the minds of like certain enemies nearby. It stuns them for a few seconds, and while they're hacked, uh, they take more damage, and just like more and more damage percent is beefed up the more glitch drives you slap onto it. So, my God, man, my God, and that's like 500, right? That's 500 times 0 0.1. Is that a 50% boost, 75% more damage, or am I just dumb? I don't know, but. If that is true, then that sounds real damn good right there. Real damn good. And I guess hacking is only like half effective against bosses. So you're not just gonna be like rolling coconut crab and like, you know, stick bug in a second. But either way, man, once this ability is added to the main game, there are gonna be a lot better scores for like every challenge that has to do with like attacking, like even the ant challenge. Like every single score could be like beefed up the wazoo. Hey, yo, hold on a second. Plus one option when choosing a B. Okay, I'll take that. We have to get Digital B now. Come on, man. The chances of us not seeing it 12 times in the span of like three rounds is just so incredibly low. Come on, man. All right, there is, there is something going on over here. I've been just doing the, the thing, but um, this is the uh, the Digital B thing, I'm pretty sure. The, the duplication, maybe? I'm pretty sure if you stand under the token for like a second, it collects it, and you pretty much get like a second ability, like just randomly chosen, like right over here, like boom, I want that one, and I, 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 want, I want that one right there. Now that can be really good if you have like a bunch of like super good abilities, like event B abilities, stuff that you'd probably only see once every like maybe 30 seconds to like a minute, but no, instead it does it twice. Like, that could be really good. Imagine getting two tornadoes, like, at once. That could go kinda hard, though. Think about it, alright? Think about it. Kinda crazy. And since it, like, lasts on the field for a pretty long time, you can, like, really time it well, like, you know, with certain things. So, my god, man. My god. Oh yeah, by the way, new thing added. New thing added right over here. You can now craft a glitch drive over in his shop for 100 cogs, one of each other drive, and it gives you 1.25 times pollen, 1.25 times capacity, and an extra B attack. God damn. Now honestly, I'm getting kind of tired of waiting, so I'm just gonna get the B, alright? I'm gonna keep re-rolling until I get it. Boom. And then I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll choose, uh, I, I guess you. And then, nope, I don't want that. Um, well, nah, uh, god damn it. Okay, maybe I'll grab the bear bee. Fine. Ain't no way I can turn down a goddamn bear bee, you're right. That shit's stupid if I did that. Man, what round are we on? I feel like I'm popping off right now. One? No, 15. God damn, okay. This is like my new high score over here. Or like pretty much my new high score. I think I either died on this round or I barely beat it. But we're gonna grab this one. The, the Mexquitos. They're like a mini boss. And I guess I'll take uh, you. Uh, screw you. What the hell? Screw you. Oh, big, big, big. Okay. This is when we pop off, fellas. This is when we go hard. We go wild. We go crazy. All right. Red pollen right over here, baby. We're going to immediately use a loaded dice. I realize uh, after you beat each round in the test realm, Rubble Bear just like juices you up with items again. So it doesn't matter how many loaded dices you just like waste in a single round, you're gonna immediately get 25 back. So, I mean, might as well just spam them, right? Might as well. Of course, in the main game, that's not gonna fly because then you'll be extremely poor after one round. But like, you know, for now, it's fine. Did we just glitch up the field? I think we just did, right? Yeah, here we go. We got the, the glitch stuff happening. Um, Did that just like boost it? I think it did. Field corruption times 150. 
Okay, pretty damn good, pretty damn good. Do it, do it again, do it again. All right. Uh, we'll just, just keep going, let's keep going. I don't know what's happening, man, but let's just keep going, man. Let's just keep going. All right, we're going crazy. We're going wild, we're going wacky. Yeah, this is uh, like one of the new mini bosses added, the, the big Mexquito. Just when you thought these little tiny bastards couldn't get any more annoying, they just did. They got big now, real big. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second. Can we use the glitch drive now? A uh, boom. Okay, we just did. What about a blue one? Boom. And then a red one. Bink. Splinkity splunk. Blinkity blunk. Keep going. Keep going. Never mind. I just died. What the hell? Just a tiny small problem. I kind of got rolled there. Oh my god, dude. Look at the goddamn Armageddon that's after me. That's like seven of them. Seven of the big guys. Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ, man. Stay strong. Stay strong! God damn it, no! Oh, dude, this is terrible. This is not good. I think I failed. I think I failed round 15. Again! God damn it, again! What do you expect, though? I mean, look at what I have to deal with over here. That's like 10 of them. We have the goddamn FBI Armageddon shooting squad just out here to get me. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, well, got another goddamn silver. Once again, I have not proven that I'm better than the average Joe. This is like literally the same exact amulet. What the hell, man? Except I get 500 less capacity. Piss off, man. I say we try that one more time. I'm just gonna skip until we get to the B. Bonk, bink, splink. A boom. Let's go. All right, we got the B again. Hell yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. That is big. That is huge. And that is wild. Hell yeah, baby. Why is someone doing stick bug right now? Why? Why are you doing this, man? I feel like that's gonna intervene with me. No, I'll help you. I'll help you take out this totem, man. But if that guy comes anywhere near what I'm doing, I'm going to start throwing hands, all right? And it's not going to be with stick bug. It's going to be with you. And a goddamn vicious bee. What the hell? Everyone's out right now. Everyone's out to get me. Wait a minute. I just got two bear morphs at once. What the hell? Science bear and the goddamn pet. What? That is actually broken, though. Duplicating bear morphs. Hold on a second. That kind of goes crazy. Dude, that is that is awesome. And they're like both different abilities technically. So that's why they like don't stack. Probably if you collected a baby love token a second time, a duplicated one, it would just reset it, right? Like it usually does. But if it's a bear morph, wait a minute, that actually goes hard. I think it's like hard coded into the game for like the bear bee that if you like are or the bee bee bear or whatever the thing is called, one of them, as soon as you grab the token, there's like a timer to where it just won't spawn another one for a while. And I think with the digital bee, you can pretty much like just not do that. You don't have to have a goddamn timer. You can have two now. That is insane, man. That is actually insane. Duplicating bear morphs. Oh boy. Imagine duplicating the goddamn mother bear morph. Oh, dude. That would actually be wild. Plus it just stays there for a while, so... You can really time these things, like, really well. You can just let the bear morph stand there until you get another one, and then just, like, be insanely cracked out, man. Hot dog. Here, wait a minute. Can we juice out this field again? Boom. Oh, we can. Okay, bonk. Bink. Splink. Did that work? The drive upgraded digital beast convert rate? Yeah, it did. Okay. So, it doesn't really matter, like, what field you're in. You could be, like, in any field. As long as you just spam it, it'll upgrade the B. I don't think it'll do it in RoboBear's challenge if you don't have the uh, the B with you, or if it's like disabled. I don't think, but I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you could test that out. But just to be safe, as long as you have it out, it's gonna do it. All right, here we go, round 15. Surely I'm not going to die a painful death this round. Surely now, bonk, bing. All right, let's go. Let's do this, all right, let's do this. Does it get easier, like, the more, like, bees you get? Like, once you get your 50 bees, would that just make it, like, a lot easier than I feel like it isn't right now? I don't know. It sure don't, it sure don't feel like a man. It sure feels like it's impossible to get to 25, but I've seen people do it, so, like, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe I just gotta, gotta do better. You know what I'm saying? Just, just do better, man. It's, it's easy. It's simple. I want to try to get that poly requirement before I get rolled up on by the cartel, so let me just slap down some of these drives really quickly. 
Uh, where the hell are they? They are not in my inventory. Where? Okay, there they are. Bonk. Bink. Splink. Kachink. There we go. All right, let's 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 do this. I think I just wasted that thing over there. All right, never mind. Let's use another one. Give me back my boost, please. I was doing fine. I don't know why I used another loaded dice. Didn't make any goddamn sense. But, uh, boom. We're gonna use one of those. And then grab some of these. Ten times super duper crit. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, this is good though. Every single, like, big guy that is rolled up on me, like, instantly dies. Look at this fool over here. Look at this fool. Yeah, run away, pal. Run away. Yo, dead. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. I'm about to die now because I stood still for, like, three seconds. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, there we go. Alright, we did it. Holy man. Round 15 done. Easy clap. I think I'll just keep going until I get rolled, but I'm happy with what I did today, right? I'm happy. The Digital Bee is definitely really damn good. It is absolutely insane in the membrane. Probably the best bee in the game, actually, now that I think about it. It's so good. I'm doing like 10 times better now that I just have that bee. Beforehand, I was getting rolled at like the previous, like maybe 13, 14, and 15, but now it's like, I'm doing pretty damn good. Hot dog. That guy's gonna break Bee Swarm for sure. I hope it don't get nerfed, but it probably will. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're done with the challenge. I got about a minute and a half left, and I didn't even finish my first requirement out of the three. Still gotta collect like over 12 billion pollen. Don't think that's gonna happen. Do not think that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna use up my final drives over here. Bonk, bink, splink, kachink. There we go, just to beef up my digital bee a little bit more. But as time goes on, the more and more drives you use to beef up your digital bee, the better you should be doing in the challenge, so... That is still pretty good, man. Still pretty good. Can I, like, buy any of this? I cannot afford them. 50 cogs? How many do I have? Uh, 8. Okay, well, not that much, actually. Alrighty, then. They are pretty expensive. They're not gonna be handed out all willy-nilly. And I only got, like, maybe one or two after I beat, like, a single challenge. And they take a pretty long time to finish, so, like... Grinding Digital Bee is gonna be a very long process for sure. And this is even more, a hundred and like one for each? Who is shooting me? Hey buddy, I'm trying to buy stuff right now. I'm trying to donate to charity, how dare you man? Get out of here. Yeah, we're done. Just, just quit, alright, there we go. Oh, big! We just got a glitch drive right there. And we finally got our golden cog amulet, some, some star jellies, purple potions, pretty good. And a goddamn diamond egg. That is a good source of egg farming. Okay, I see you. There isn't really a good way to get eggs in this game, so... Looks like Robobear's challenge is actually gonna deliver with that. Alright. That's pretty good. That is pretty good, yeah. 10 billion honey. I'll take it. Capacity, blue bee attack, red pollen, pollen from bees, and instant blue conversion. I feel like red is gonna be a really fun color to be in this update. Just like all the attack... Because you kind of need to have a bunch of attack and, like, you know, really hard-hitting bees if you don't want to die in the challenge and you actually want to, like, kill the guys in time. I don't know how that's going to go with the White Hive. I hope White does okay, because I still want to stick to White, but I know for sure Red is going to be, like, the best. Just because of that, like, beefed-up attack and, like, the 15 precise bees in your hive. Maybe I'm just going to have to get more precise bees when the update comes out. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm done for today. I think that was a pretty good showcase of the digital bee. The thing is actually kind of cracked though. Can we check its stats now? Uh, 97, 67, 23, 12. That seems better. Yeah, that was definitely upgraded a pretty decent amount. All right. Oh uh, yeah, and look at that. You can see the, the drives you use. So six of each. Keep in mind, you can put 500 of these things on the digital bee. So that is only a fraction of its power. What the hell, man? Imagine max level beefed out of the wazoo. That thing is going to be insane, man. This is also probably going to be like the best bee to level up at first. Just because it gets so many like additional bonuses the more higher level it is. So if anything, this is probably going to be like the first bee I try to get to like level 20 and like above. My entire hive is like 18 though, so that might take a while. But uh, yeah, anyways fellas, thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Do it or else the goddamn digital bee will come for your family, alright? I don't know what happened to my avatar. Why Why am I a, a, a regular, like, fella now? What happened? I don't know. The update should be coming out in a few days, because Christmas, right? For me, Christmas is happening in about four days, so I gotta get this video out as soon as possible. 
On the other hand, though, maybe the update won't come out on Christmas and instead it's going to be delayed. I'm not sure yet, but I guess we just have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, anyways, fellas, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, gamers.